Hello YouTube. Yeah, finally got this uh, second camera working. Um, this will be Black Source Shinobi Dojo Blog. All right. Um, what we're gonna do? Mm, I like to thank a certain person, uh, Anthony Cummins, for for dispelling the myth of the. Uh, sword that it was turned in okay the spears were chopped up and turned into swords um and it doesn't really matter what sword you got either a curve or a straight sword um applying a sample of this will be my ninja toe all right now you say this is straight. Actually, if you look at it, a long distance, the curve is right here. You see? Plain as ample. Swords look straight, but actually, it's a slight curve. Very slight. It's not like a full curve, which I have to show you with the the other ninja toe that I got. See, I carry two types of ninja toes. Is because I train authentic as I can. This is my second. Which is just a walkie sashi. Second in the toe. Never be caught without a second in the toe. Alright. As you see, this one has a very tremendous curve. Not as much as the ninja toe which would have been straight compare but if you roughly you see it's just a very slight bend it's not too noticeable so doesn't matter this can be a ninja toe And the original Ninja Toe can be Ninja Toe. This one don't have no Suba. The Suba. And this one does. Doesn't really matter. As a friend once said, a ninja will pick up any sword necessary. So that didn't that um kind of like breaks that because really Ninja Toe has been a icon of Japan since before the 60s so it does make sense to practice with both and defend yourself with both it does make sense you know you can't have this ninja toe and you can't have that ninja toe but hey they must been invented for some reason even though this one's a straight one well slightly straight and it's not completely straight it does got a slight bend I have to show you this back up you see where the bend is at you see it See where the bin is at. The bin is right in here. It looks straight, but it's not really straight. It's curved, but not too curved. By all means, this is a straight sword. But, hey, I'm not here to rock the boat or hurt anybody. 
I'm here to learn some of the truth and to train and to show and to teach others about the magnificent art of ninjutsu. I mean, hey, it's been around since the turn of the century. It was a fighting force for freedom fighters back then. Hey, here you got the samurai, they're like ruling class, and you got the poor people which wanted to be just plain farmers, but they couldn't because their land was being taken. They had to rise up, form their own militia. To the United States, that would be a militia. And to defend their homestead, their lands. And that's it. You know, you no know, simpler than that. And then the samurai kind of like say, hmm, maybe we can hire these people to spy on our enemies. Yeah, the samurai did hire. And before it was all over, Nijitsu kind of like scurried Danish without a trace until now since the 80s Nijitsu was king and now it has a lot of controversy what was said what was not I say hate is not part of Nijitsu it has no part in it Training does, learning does, if you think about it, hate is a destroyer of the soul, and that's it for today, I hope you guys understand this, uh, I like ninjutsu, I love it, I practice it myself, I'm not completely perfect. No one is. When they study Nijitsu, it takes a lifetime. And it took me kind of like more of a lifetime because I'm getting older. And some of my flexibility has went. <laughs> but I'm willing to gain it back. And that's why I made the Nijitsu Art of Death back to basics I gotta get my limber back you know gotta get some of it back and yeah I do the rolls mm. but it's all part of the training it's all part of it even though I don't like to roll the reason why mm, to say it this much I don't like being close to the ground so I fight far harder to stay above the ground. So other than that, that's that. And I see you maybe in the next vlog.